I would end I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. What? Oh, he is so going to be a villain. I got Flabebe up to level um 13. Now I would have got it up to Siege's um you know to Siege's level, but uh, the grinding here is just terrible. Like grind like the, there's only a few trainers in this area, and the wild Pokemon in the area barely give you much of anything. So yeah, pretty much. Otherwise than that, the Flabebe did learn Lucky Champ, but I don't remember what level it was. It chants an in incantation towards the sky, preventing opposing Pokemon from landing critical hits. So basically, it prevents critical hits. Basically. <laughs> so, yeah, luckily, we won't have to worry about that if we have Flabebe in the party. I mean, I'm not sure I would have that long term, because really, the chances of, a, of an opponent getting a critical hit, well, it is a good chance. It's not a, like... Like, oh my gosh, it's a critical hit every time kind of kind of scenario. Unless they're using moves that crit a lot, which there really isn't a lot, especially in this gen. That was reserved for Gen 1. <laughs> you viewers remember the crit glitch, right? From Gen 1? Yeah, because it was based on your speed stat for your Pokemon. So yeah, back then, moves like Slash and Razor Leaf would get a crit every time. No ifs, ands, or buts! So, yeah. Pretty much. Otherwise than that, though, I took out all the trainers off screen. Just trying to see if there's any items I missed, because the gardeners around here really do a good job making, you know, areas look like mazes on this roof. But yeah, the nice thing about repels in Gen 6 is that it borrowed from Gen 5, well, with Black 2 and White 2, in which they allow you to use repels after your initial one runs out. So, like, if you run out of a repel, just like this, you'll get the option to use another. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it is very fucking convenient. Because now, that means I won't have to, um... That means I won't have to go to my fucking menu every time to use a repel. Like in other Pokemon games. But whatever. In the case, get that other item. Alright, excuse me. Get this netball. The netball works best against bug and water types, so there you go. That poison barb that we got, it raises um a poison um move um it raises poison type moves by I think ten percent, I think. I think it's still ten percent. I'm not entirely sure on that, so don't quote me on it. Alright, excuse me. All right, one more item. Hmm, a couple kids blocking the roof. Let's see, get this ether here. And oh yeah, viewers, there are a couple of skating trainers in the set in the center with, with that um that water fountain. Yeah, they are very annoying to catch the battle, so you'll have to like intercept them counterclockwise to fight them. They are very annoying, and they're the first of many roller skating trainers we'll be fighting. Trust me, there's one in particular that's even more annoying than them. In any case, uh, hello? Hello there. Have you heard of a Pokemon called Flabebe? Yeah, I actually have one. Wow, you have one with you. Oh, I didn't know they acknowledge you having a Flabebe. Cool, nice. Flabebe is, now brace yourself, a fairy type Pokemon. Wow, I didn't know that at all. The more you know. Hashtag sarcasm. Of course I knew for baby was a fairy type. I mean, I do look at the Pokemon stats when I catch them. Dumb. Fairy type is in this type. Why are they talking over each other? And we were battling fairy type Pokemon against other types of Pokemon at Professor Sycamore's request. Why? My name's Cena. Or Sina, or... 
whatever the hell her name is. I'll just call her Cena. It's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady. I'm Dexto. Wow, viewers, you notice the difference? Now, the girl sounds like, a, the girl sounds really conceited and, and full of herself. Like, it's a beautiful name for a beautiful lady like me. Whereas the guy is all like, I'm Dexto. That's it. Like, no, no, the brilliant Dexto or some shit like that. Why do women do that? Like, I, I'm not saying, I, I don't know if all women do that, but it's like, they have to add this shit in front of their names or add to their names to make it sound more amazing or sexually appealing or, or some shit. Whereas the guys, just their name. It's just as simple as that and easy to understand. I don't, I, you know what, never mind. That's just a pet peeve of mine. You can call me a Pokemon Voyage veteran. If you like, I'll show you the way to the lab, so come along now. Uh, I can guide myself, but eh, whatever. All right, let's get this show on the road. Eh. Step into the light. No, but yeah, step into the light, viewers. Don't go directly into the light, though. Not, oh, sorry, that's the wrong light. Lumino City is the biggest city in all of Kalos. There's still plenty I haven't seen. We're going to a big city already? We just started the game! So how are you and Flabebe getting along? The more you walk around with your Pokemon, the stronger your friendship will become. Huh. Here, this is the team for return. This is a move that gets powerful when your friendship with the Pokemon using it is strong. Alright, and we get Team 27 return. Nice. Right through this gate, you'll be in Lumino City. Go on already. Right. Welcome to Lumino City, the city of light. The city of light? This should be interesting. Let's go! Wow. So, this is Lumino City, huh? Nice. It is big. Literally the biggest city in all of Kalos. Viewers, when I did my test run, I got lost here multiple times. This city is that big. Your city is so big. I'll go ahead and wait in front of the lab for you. Follow her that way to the lab. How far is it? Oh, okay, it's right there. Never mind. <laughs> well, I'm, I want to get the plot out of the way first, and then we'll explore Luminos. The thing is... Lumino City has a gym. The problem, however, is that you cannot go to the gym until you get, well, spoiler alert, it's the fifth gym town. This is the fifth gym town. We're just going to it early. This dude is tall! Damn! I feel like a, I feel like a midget compared to this dude. Wow. Huh, well, they, oh, sorry. Little people. I, I, meant, I meant to be a bit more PR with that. In any case, or PC, I mean. This building is the Sycamore Pokemon Land. Let's go inside. Yeah. Let's get the plot done first, and then... Uh, huh? I guess I got a message there. So in the world, you don't know what it would... Would you like to make a wonder trade? I don't know anyone... In, I don't know anyone here. No. Oh, sorry. I, I, I meant to click no one that, but for some odd reason, the dialogue proceeded. Huh, <laughs> weird. Welcome to the Sycamore Pokemon Land. Professor Sycamore researches Pokemon evolution. Huh, so he's basically a copy-paste of Professor L. Good to know. The third floor. Okay. In this case, hey kid, the professor has taught many people about Pokemon. Hmm. I'm eager to meet this Professor Sycamore, so let's go and meet him already. Before we do that, though, let's go take a look around the lab. Let me pull up my map as well. There we go. Excuse me. What? Alright, so let's see here. There is someone here that can give you an item. Hey, Trabish! Or tra Trebish? Or something like that, that trash bag Pokemon? That's still a weird Pokemon. Huh. I'm, develop I'm developing a tool that will help my research. It's pretty difficult work. Please wait patiently for it to be completed. I don't know what you're researching, but good luck to you. Ah, there we go. Luxury balls. Nice. Get your balls, viewers. <laughs> Get your balls off the floor. 
You know what, sorry, I was trying to reference something else, but it didn't pan out. Bye, B! Moving on. My jokes are starting to become slightly lame lately. I gotta work on that. In any case... Ah, so you're Professor Sycamore. So we finally meet. Huh. Fantastic, you're here. Come this way, won't you? Uh, okay. Huh. He, feel, he feels like a more hands-on professor. I don't know, that's just the impression I get from the guy. Many thanks for coming all the way from Benneville Town. I'm Professor Sycamore. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. Same. Why are we meeting you so late? Like, after getting our first gym badge. That is way late. Huh. How is your Pokemon journey going so far? Have you met many different kind of Pokemon? My journey basically just started. I didn't go that far. <laughs> Fantastic! Let me take a quick look at your Pokedex and see. Hmm. So you've seen 36 kinds of Pokemon in Central Kalos, then. Central Kalos? Oh, the pages are starting to get filled up. I'm, I'm, it's starting to look good. Not bad, kid. Well, now, you do have certain je ne sais quoi. What the fuck does that mean? Anyone that knows French in the audience, please let me know. Je ne sais quoi... I'm assuming like, like flair or something like that. Like he has a certain flair. Uh, I, I, I don't know. <laughs> flair. You'll find out what I mean by that soon. In any case, I have a good feeling about you. At first I was thinking of choosing only one child from, from a town when I was deciding who to give a Pokemon to. In Benneville Town, it was going to be the child of a veteran trainer I know. But around then, I learned that the Rhyhorn racer Grace and her son were moving here. Here in the Kalos region, you're, you're far away from everything you used to know. That really hit me right here, in the fields. Then it hit me. I should give you a Pokemon and have you travel around Kalos. Hi, Professor. It's Shauna. Huh? Ah, sorry to keep you waiting. Fantastic. Now, let's all have a Pokemon battle. What? Right here? Your opponent shall be me. I have to literally fight a professor? Huh, okay. This should be interesting. A Pokemon battle in the lab? Huh, sounds good. Let's get started. Sean is the only one that actually makes sense here. A Pokemon battle in the lab? Like, like we might break something. Like my room in Gen 5. But whatever, it's his lab, so who cares? <laughs> it, 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 it's his shit, so if he wants to battle and his shit breaks, by all means. And unlike using star our base level starter Pokemon when we had our first rival battles in Gen 5 in my bedroom, we're ha we just got our first Gen Bass, so the damage might be a bit more. Just so you know, I'm not that tough. <laughs> I'll be the judge of that. Because it's time for a boss fight versus Professor Sycamore. Now, it's not really a boss fight per se, but he is, well, the Professor of Kalos. So, of course, we're going to be having this as a boss fight. It counts, at least to me. Now, in any case, this could be bad because what Bebe is with the poison types. I don't think Bulbasaur really has any poison moves yet. That being the case, let's go and start off with a fairy win. Or I can get Leech Seeded, that too. WHICH! Huh. Damn, it didn't do that much. Shit! Yeah, that's not good. Probably gonna have to switch here. Mine Whip ain't going to do shit to Bulbasaur. Fairy Wind is not effective against it. I'm assuming because it has that Slash Poison type. I mean, for Bebe with the poison, so needless to say, Fairy Moose ain't gonna work, ain't gonna work on Bulbasaur. Even though um, for Goder is weak to Bulbasaur, he has a level advantage, so this should work in my favor. Return, mm -hmm. Tedeschi. All right, so let's go, Siege. My newly evolved for Goder. Whoa! You literally see Bulbasaur's vines when he does f a vine whip in this game. That is a nice attention to detail game. I'll be sure to, you know, make note of that when I do my in-game review. And in any case, pound that ass! Yeah! on that face, really. That looks like a bitch slap. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna bitch slap pound that face. And... Ah! Almost. Almost got him. Crap, I'm getting seated again. Nuts. 
Yeah, Leech Seed is a very annoying move that sets your HP after its, well, initial effect. And every turn after that, um, yeah, your HP will keep on getting drained. And the thing is, it lasts after the Pokemon is defeated. So, yeah! Literally. How did I not take this guy out yet? Bulbasaur is not that strong. Huh. I am impressed, however, Professor. You are a lot tougher than I expected. However, quick attack! Yeah! Damn! Go! Oh! Oh, shit! Oh! That is not good! Oh. Wow, man. Uh oh! Hey. Hey. Gotta take this guy out already. <sighs> Alright, that being the case, let's go for a water pose, even though he's not weak to it. He's gonna have oh! That did more damage than my other moves! And it's not even that effective against him. This is taking too long! Huh. Finish it off! He's an oh! There you go. Finally! And that's just against a Bulbasaur! Seven levels beyond, mind you. Alright, now we got Squirtle. Whew! God damn! I'm impressed, Professor. Very impressed. Lick that bitch. Ah! Be nice if I could have paralyzed it, but I guess that's too much that <gasps> Shit, I forgot! That damn Leech Seed! That was pretty clever having that done, like, literally in the first opening parts of the fight. I'm impressed, Professor. You definitely know how to battle. Alright, let's go, Terashi! This might be a little bit more dangerous, though, because Terashi is three levels higher. So, this battle is probably not going to be as quick. But, I do have Vine Whip. So, whip that bitch! Whip it good! Oh, well, I have not said that quote in a long time. Whip it! I say whip it! Whip it good! Nice. Almost! Whoa! Whip that bitch, Terashi! Yeah! There you go! Yay! Good job! Whew, almost. Now we got Charmander. Whew, god damn. This professor is tougher than I expected. In the case... Hmm, let's go with a fairy win and then switch. Huh? Damn smoke screen. Whatever. Fairy win! Hmm, it's not that effective. Fire type! So, there you go. Alright, let's switch out now. Alright, let's switch out. Let's go, Siege! Yeah. Good job, Terashi. Let's go! Alright, let's end this already. This is taking way longer than I had anticipated. You are strong, Professor. Probably, definitely stronger than Viola. But, this is the end of our time together. Mizuno Hado! Money shot, baby! <laughs> GG! <sighs> You're too much for me. You're really something, aren't you? That I am. That I am. I think I've about figured it out. Figured what out? Mike, you are an interesting Pokemon trainer indeed. It'd be fantastic if you took another Pokemon with you. Huh? Here, pick one. What? Oh my! You want me to pick a Kanto starter? Wow! But yeah, you literally get to choose a Kanto starter outside of your Kalo starter. That is so boss! Gen 6 for the win, baby. Now, needless to say, based on their battles and stuff like that, Pretty clear Bulbasaur was one of the strongest and more annoying opponents to face. 
However, I already have my team set up the way I want, and for that, Charmander is joining the fray. I hope to Arceus it's a male because I already have the name picked out for him. So, yeah! You picked Charmander then. I see. That's simply wonderful. Charmander, get to those A! Nice. That's the reason why I didn't keep Fletchling, because Charmander, obviously, in due time, will evolve into Charizard, which is Fire Slash Flying type. And it can also learn Fly as well, so that pretty much negates the point of having to get Flet Sender. So, or rather, Fletchling. So, yeah. Talent Flame is still useful, though. I will probably use it in my Pokemon X playthrough, though, eventually. But yeah, I already have a nickname planned out for this guy. Now, for Charmander, I thought about it, and I'm going to name him after, um, my friend, Tukai Gaming. Yeah, so, yeah, Kai, you are now a Charmander. And the nice thing about Charmander is that Charmander, well, well Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle have the ability to Mega Evolve. Mega Evolution, well, we won't be able to do that until later. Charmander needs to be a Charizard, and we need to have the corresponding Mega Stone and Mega Ring to go with it. But Charmander can evolve into two different forms. Literally, Charizard Y and Charizard X. I'm assuming I'll get Charizard Y because I'm playing Pokemon Y. Maybe that's the reason Pokemon X is so powerful, because, you know, you know whose Charizard is in it. Otherwise than that, though, welcome to the team, Kai. Yep. Wow, you get two starters. Since you chose Charmander, I'll give you this Mega Stone. I get a Mega Stone too? Damn, you are the best professor ever. Wow. But then, guess we get the Charizard at Y. Yeah, I figured as much. Now, yeah, unfortunately, I can't get Charizard at um X because I'm not playing Pokemon X in due time. Then again, I won't be able to use Charmander in that playthrough anyway since I'm using it in Y, so... Sucks to be me. Come now, you two. Pick your Pokemon. I don't know which one to pick. It's so difficult. You'll be together for a long time, so take so just take your time. Well, I got a feeling everyone else will show up soon. And as if on cue, here come the boys. Hi, Professor Sycamore. What's, what's this? Everyone's here already. See? <laughs> Wonderful, everyone's all here. So now that we're all here, I'd like to say a few words. Be the best trainer you can be! Be all you can be, just like in the army. At the same time, remember you have fun traveling with your Pokemon. Also, I want to ask you for your help in solving Kyle's region's biggest Pokemon mystery. The secret and potential of Mega Evolution. Hmm, a new type of evolution that occurs in battle. Only in battle, so it's not permanent? That's why I gave you that Mega Stone just now. It's an important clue. Mega Evolution? What should we do about the Pokedex? Trevor, my lad, if that's what best trainer means to you, then I want you to go out there and complete that Pokedex. Mega Evolution sure sounds interesting. If you are investigating Mega Evolution, why don't you check out Camp Campera Town? That town has a lot of history. It's old. <coughs> you might find a hint there. Now listen, if you visit many places and complete the Pokedex, you will probably see Pokemon with many ways of living and meet Pokemon with many ways of thinking. First, accept the ways of living and thinking and some, that sometimes conflict with your own. And think about what's really important. This will truly broaden your horizons. I feel that being different from others makes me special. Mastering Mega Evolution will definitely set me apart from other trainers. Pretty much. In any case, let's go check out our new Charmander. Oh, nice. In any case, yes, Charmander has the Ablaze ability, just like in, well, just like other Fire Starters. Let's see. He also has the Gentle ability. So that means it looks like his special attack will be enhanced while his defense will be decreased. That's actually not bad because he is weak to water, and when he does eventually become Charizard, he will be somewhat weak to electricity as well. So that does actually help him out by having enhanced special defense. That's not bad. But yeah, Blaze powers up his fire type moves whenever his um, HP gets weakened. So, there you go. But in any case, not bad. He even has Ember at the start too. I love it. Alright. Obviously, I'm going to have to get him up to um, Siege and Terashi's levels. 
So, yeah, but luckily, though, um, the next route has, gives, po uh, has Pokemon that gives you a lot more EXP. So, oh, uh, let's see here. Was there something else in this place? I'm trying to see. There's someone on the third floor. Ah, I see. Let's talk to this lady here. Pretty much. And we get TM54 Fast Swipe. Nice. Thank you much. It leaves the Pokemon at, at, at 1 HP instead of making it faint. Super effective when you're trying to catch Pokemon. So yeah, it is pretty much a must-have move if you're trying to catch Pokemon that have a lower level than you. So, there you go. Alright, now before we end the episode, I want to get this next scene out the way. And then we'll go to the um, place that has Route 5 on it. Uh, so, I'll be able to meet them soon then. Who's this dude? Nice hair. Yes. The chosen chosen by the professor. I wonder what potential they have. And here's one of them now. That's Mike. Mike, come here a sec. Uh, yeah. How's it going? Oh, so you received the Pokedex from the professor then. Yeah, do I know you? How wonderful. That's a wonderful thing indeed. You, you are one of the chosen ones. I'm a chosen one. I'm Lysander. I tried to learn as much about Pokemon as I can to help build a brighter future. Professor Sycamore has taught me so much. Oh, I see you have a Holocaster. Knowledge is power, after all. Put it to good use. Now listen, it is vital that this world become a better place. Why? I mean, I want it to be a better place too, but what's the rush? And the Pokemon and people chosen to make the world a better place must work tirelessly to achieve this goal. Well, I'll be all. Please give Professor Sycamore my best. My desire, it is for a more beautiful world. Okay. I understand the desire to have a, a better and more perfect world, but that guy, he seems to be a little obsessed. I don't know. You viewers get that vibe? I don't know. Something about him just seems off. I don't know. Needless to say, we'll probably be seeing him again because he looks very unique. Still, I wonder what kind of beautiful world Lysander desires. Who knows? Everyone has their own vision of a perfect world. In this great big Kalos region, there are many different Pokemon. I hope getting a Pokedex gives you the chance to learn about them. I hope so too. In any case, let's get out of here. Uh, bro, there's a place I want to check out. So I'll see you around. Okay. There's something I want to talk to you about. I'll be waiting for you at Cafe Sully, neighbor. Do I really have to go there first? I wonder what Serena wants to talk about. Why couldn't she just use the Holocaster? No clue, but it seems hush-hush. Hmm, I am curious about what's going on, but we should probably stay out of it. Yeah, pretty much. Hey, bro. To get to Kipura Town, leave the lab, turn left, and go straight. That can't, that cafe Sol is Serena was talking about is, is over that way, too. Alright, good to know. Thanks, dudes. Alright, now, let's go and find Serena first. Lumino City may be very large, but if you stay on the main streets, you shouldn't get lost. <laughs> yeah, 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 thanks. I'm gonna go for a little walk. The streets here sure wind and wander here. Mm, pretty much. Oh, just so you know, Kipura Town and Cafe Soli are over this way. Good to know. In any case, another thing that he didn't tell you is that um this place over here is the Pokemon Center. It's pretty it's pretty easy to miss. So yeah. Hey dude. Would you like to trade Poke Miles for prizes? Poke Miles. Poke Mileage is a system that allows you to collect miles. When you trade Pokemon or pass by people, miles that you can get depend on the distance between two regions registered on the Nintendo 3DS systems. You can also collect a little bit more miles by walking the Kalos region. But yeah, basically, if you collect Poke Miles, you can um, come to this guy here and you can get a lot of good shit. The nice thing about it is that if you collect a lot of Poke Miles, you can also get rare candies from this guy, as well as a lot of other cool um, cool items. So be sure to keep that in mind if you're into trading and all that. In any case, bro, check this out. You can make you can make trainer PR videos here. It's called the PR Video Studio. Making your own PR videos is like a dream come true. They can make a quick video for you, or you can edit your own masterpiece. I'll put my heart into those 10 seconds and put them out there for the world to see. 
Uh, good to know. Good for you. <laughs> In any case, yeah, I gotta stand still just to turn the damn camera. It's so damn annoying. Alright, before we end the episode, let's go talk to Serena first and get this out of the way so that way we can get to Route 5. In the case, Serena, could you come here for a sec? Uh, yeah, okay. What does she want with me? <laughs> uh oh. Oh, it's Lysander and. Is that Delia? Or Dahlia? Diantha? Yeah, Diantha. Who? Who? That? Is she wearing wings? Damn. So you know, neighbor, Lysander is the head of Lysander Labs, which created the Holocauster, the video messaging device. He is the one that created this? Wow, I didn't know he was so high tech. You already know who Diantha is, right? She's one of the most fabulous movie stars in the world, after all. I didn't know that. She looks like one, though. I wonder what the two of them are doing here together. Beats me. You played a little girl so wonderfully in your debut on the silver screen. Wouldn't you rather remain young and beautiful forever to always play such roles? What a strange question. Why would I want to play the same old roles forever? Youth may be beautiful, but that is not all there is to life. Everything changes. I want to live and change like that too. So I look forward to playing different roles as I get older. You were chosen to be a movie star, correct? Isn't it your duty to be ever beautiful? Everything beautiful should stay that way forever. Okay. I would end I would end the world in an instant so that beauty never fades. What? Oh, he is so gonna be a villain. I can't stand the thought of the world becoming uglier. Oh, hello Mike. This is Diantha, one of the most accomplished movie stars in Kalos. She moves the multitudes with her excellent acting. Which is, which is to say she dedicates her life to making other people happy. Oh, if only every everyone were like her, what a beautiful world this would be. If you excuse me. This dude is such a weirdo. And who are you two? My name is Serena, and this is Mike, right? I heard Lysander call you that. You both have lovely names. Oh, well, thank you, Miss Diane. Oh, and you're both Pokemon trainers. Don't your Pokemon look happy? I'm a trainer myself in my off time. I look forward to us battling someday. Yeah, I'm <coughs> sure we will. <coughs> in the case, she seems like more than just a movie star. That's just the impression I get. I guess if you're a tra Pokemon trainer, you battle everyone no matter who they are. Oh, that's right. I have something to ask you, neighbor. Would you be willing to compete with me to see which one of us will become stronger? I know we just set off on our journey after you just arrived in Benefield Town, but we are neighbors, and I think it would be fun if, we have a com if I have a competition with you. So you're basically asking to be my rival? Aren't you supposed to be my rival from Jump Street? Just so you know, I won't lose, though. Okay. That is such a weird question to ask. I mean, our rival, we already know that our rival is basically determined from the start. Uh-huh. Who's this? Oh, Troiner. Or Terrano. So, check this out. I'm out on Route 5 right now, and I'm just hopping with wild Pokemon. Hurry and come check it out. Okay. Hmm. Well, there you go. In any case, let's go check out Route 5 real quick before we end the episode. Let's see. Oh! Uh, hey! How's it going? Nice to meet you, friends. They call me Mr. Bonding. Have you heard about O Powers? That expression of yours tells you hasn't. You're hit, you haven't. Don't worry, I'll tell you about it anyway. O Powers are mysterious forces that have all kinds of powerful effects. They can make your Pokemon stronger or even help you get more money. Any friends you have nearby will also benefit from them. They truly are mysterious powers. Okay. Let's get started, shall we? It's bonding time! You can now use attack power and defense power. Huh. Attack power increases the attack stat, as well with defense. The not, not, that's not all. The powers can gain levels the more you use them. Take a look at the instructions if you want to know more. Remember, you can activate an old power using the PSS. Well then, I do believe I shall take my leave right about now. Hope to see you around. Uh, thanks, dude. That was random. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> in any case, we'll be seeing him again in other towns from now on. Uh, a Lucario! How's it going? What luck to have a Lucario just randomly walking up to me like that. Wait, Lucario. Oh, it, it has a trainer. Okay, never mind. Sorry about that. Are you okay? I was just doing some special training with my Lucario when all of a sudden it jazzed off. Hey, Lucario, what's going on with you? Did you get drawn by this boy's aura or something? Aura? Oh, yeah, that's right. Lucario has the ability to sense aura in people. Huh. Well, it seems Lucario likes you. Uh, thanks. See, Lucario can read people's auras. I guess something in your aura has made this one take a liking to a stranger. This Lucario is always getting worked up in battle with my other one. Maybe it's just been waiting for a trainer to appear who's strong enough to challenge it. Oh, I see. I'm sorry, I was on such a roll I forgot to even introduce myself. I'm Karina, the, the Solar City Gym Leader. Ah, huh, so you're a gym leader, huh? If you're collecting gym badges, I'm sure we'll be battling sooner or later. I'll be looking forward to it. I hope you know how to roll with the punches. Literally. <laughs> uh, take care, Serena. You too, Lucario. Wow, we'd love to just have a random-ass Lucario just randomly popping up at us. But yeah, um, all screen viewers between this and the next episode, I'm going to do some training on Route 5. The Pokemon Deer give better EXP. And next time on Let's Play Pokemon Y, we will explore a little bit more of Lumino City. Not that much, though, because we'll be coming back here for more important things later anyway. So we'll explore a little bit more of Luminos, and then we'll head to Route 5 to our next destination, Kenpura Town. Next time, if you guys enjoy it, you know what to do. Hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel for freaking fish for me. Hit that bell so you know notified when I upload new stuff on YouTube. Got something to say? Leave a comment. So next time, dudes and dudes, this is Mike from Rage Break Gaming, and I hope your rage breaks. Have a great day, bros and brosettes. Smell you later, bitches.